Hey guys, welcome back to Color Sense with Jen. About two months ago, I asked all my viewers to overload me with suggestions of what I should color out there. And I got two really cool ones that I'm trying to combine today from two different viewers. One is something Lord of the Rings themed. And then the second one was a disappearing doorway. So I'm gonna try and mesh those two suggestions into one drawing today. I've actually split the video up into two days, so you'll see half of it today, and then the next part, the finishing up in my next video. Stay tuned until the very end, because after watching this, you're gonna wanna go out and hit the sidewalk, but I want you to be prepared so you're not feeling it the next day. So I'm going to give you a few of my tips that I've had from experience of coloring on the sidewalk so you can go out and make your own masterpiece. And I think that's enough chit chat, so let's get out there and let's get dirty. start guys so I started coloring and then the lawn people came around and shot fertilizer all over the sidewalk so I had to sweep again and now I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes so I don't have any bug spray I'm gonna go change some clothes and come right back out and hit the sidewalk again
off a little bit rocky with all the mosquitoes and the fertilizer, but it's coming out pretty well, I think. I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of fixative to try and help hold it overnight so it doesn't get wind blown and the colors don't fade. And um, try and remember some mosquito repellent for tomorrow. Uh, pretty bit enough. So I have Krylon workable fixative. It's used for pencil, pastel, and chalk drawings, prevents smudging and wrinkling, allows easy reworking, and it's acid-free. Um, otherwise, hairspray works just as well. You stuck it out all the way through my video, all the way to the end, to hear my tips for you to go out and draw on the sidewalk. So number one, you want to be prepared. Uh, make sure that you wear a hat, wear a jacket, um, the right clothing, if you need sunblock. In this case, I really needed bug repellent. It would have helped me so much if you notice how many times I'm sitting there scratching or swatting at mosquitoes. Number two, I think you have to be okay with nature. Bugs, you've got leaves, you've got moss, um, you know, animals, snakes, squirrels, spiders, things like that could be crawling around. Moving on to number three, scope out your location. I wanted to make sure the video quality was decent, so I kind of oversaw where the shade was versus where the sunlight was going to be because I didn't want it difficult for the video lighting. And maybe you're very sensitive to sunlight or you sunburn very easily. I did this video on two different days. Um, I did part one one day. The next morning I woke up to the sound of the underground sprinklers and I panicked. I'm like, oh my goodness, is my drawing going to be completely ruined because I colored too close to the underground sprinklers. Thank heavens that was not the case. I did not factor in underground sprinklers. Number four, you'll want to check the weather forecast. Number five, wearing something that's movable, that's flexible, allows you to stretch and bend and reach and um, get dirty because chalk, believe it or not, you are going to get dirty. Number six, I have used some sort of cushion to sit on or to kneel on. I've used um, pieces of carpet padding or scraps of carpet knee pads if you have knee pads that'd be awesome too number seven have a subject matter in mind first before you start coloring those are my tips that i have for you today i really appreciate you watching to the very end stick around and you'll see the finished product in day two see you guys <laughs>